All right, Star Wars Outlaws, new trailer, looks good. Oh, okay, yeah, that. Let's talk about uh, how it's coming out. Uh, the game will arrive on August 30th for PlayStation 5, Windows PC, and Xbox Series X. That's a lot sooner than I thought. Yes, so what's the problem with the release date, Bob? <laughs> What could possibly be the problem with the game coming out on August 30th for the PS5, Xbox Series X, and Windows PC? It's that the game comes out August 27th, Will. <laughs> the game releases August 27th if you have the gold or the ultimate, I think. Who cares what they're called? The fact that you have to pay double the price of the game in order to play the game three days early. That's the yes. problem. Yes. So... Yeah, they're saying it's an early release if you get the gold or the old yeah. edition. But we all know what that means. That means that they're getting the game ready for the 27th. Yeah, the game that, comes means, out the that means they're punishing you for being poor. Yes. That's what it is. It's a it's it's a toll. You're paying a toll to get the game yes. on the day that it releases. Yes. Which is really, really frustrating. Because I always like to get games the day they release. I want to yes. play them immediately. Mm -hmm. I want to be one of the first people to play the game. But not if it's going to cost me more money to do that. Yeah. I don't even know if your game's good yet. Yeah. So it, it, it your biggest fans are the ones who are going to want the game immediately yeah. and you're punishing them yeah. for being fans. Also, P game sale, the first day of game sales matters the most. The first weekend is the mm -hmm. biggest deal for game sales. So you are uh making it harder for people to to buy your game. Yeah. When the game sales matter the most. Yeah. Uh what was the the guy the Days Gone guy said? If you want sequels to games, you have to buy them at full price the week they come out, because like that's the most important time yeah. frame for publishers. Shit like this just incentivizes me more to wait and buy it on sale for half the price. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not doing yeah. the. I want this game. I want to yes, try it. It sucks because like I haven't bought like a Ubisoft game in years, and I feel like I feel like this is gonna be a Ubisoft game. Like the standard type of Ubisoft game, open world maps, uh, map. I'm hoping with this shit. is a little different. Yeah, me too. But like, I feel like enough time has passed where like I could play a Ubisoft game and not hate it and like actually enjoy it because it's been so long. Mm -hmm. So, I and, I and the fact that it's Star Wars and it's a it's an interesting setting time period in Star Wars and it's a new character and it's a new experience and adventure. Like I'm all for it. I want to experience this. Um. But not if I have to pay a hundred dollars to play it early. No, it's it. Uh, I mean, this happened with Starfield, and it really pissed me off. And that was yeah. a week, I think. Well, I feel like Starfield is worse because it was a Game Pass game, mm -hmm. and Game Pass proudly, because like we've seen this shit before. This this goes back to the 360 era, where if you buy a game, if you pre-order a game, you can play it early. If you pre-order the deluxe edition, you can play it early. Like that's not new. The thing with Game Pass was you buy, like, you get the game on, you yeah. get the game the day it launches. That, That's their big selling point. And they, and they went back on that big they selling went, point. They, well, I don't know if went back is the right word. They, they changed it for themselves. Yeah. 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 They, 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 that was a, people should be a lot more outraged about that than they are. Yeah. Because you bought into this subscription service thinking you're getting one thing and then yeah. they and then they they did some little semantic bullshit to make yeah. it so that it's not true anymore. Um so I tweeted about this and uh majority of people, you know, agree that it's it's bullshit that the game's releasing early. Yeah. Um but there's a couple people who are like what does it matter? Like what's the uh my, my big issue is that I like to be a part of the conversation. People are like who cares yeah. about the conversation? Who cares buy, what you have to say? Just buy it a week later. Yeah. You know, what's the big deal? And like okay, fine. But I shouldn't have to, again, I shouldn't be punished for right. wanting to be one of the first people exactly. to play a game. Exactly. You know? Um, and then I got this tweet that said, consumer mindset. Why not just wait a week or so with, with, with uh see if it's even worth your time and money. There are more great games out there that you could play in multiple lifetimes. This is a developer, I think. Can you see that? Oh no, that's uh not who basically said the same thing to me <laughs> oh okay. yeah someone different uh well this is a developer who works at a, at a company that like does like um pickup 
development. Okay. You know, like like uh, I think they might have worked on this game. Is what I'm trying to say. I think this this guy yeah, yeah, yeah. worked on this game okay. and was like, "You're an idiot for." Why yeah. the game early? First of all, consumer mindset. Yeah, I'm the consumer, dude. Yeah, I, I'm the one buying the game, yeah. and I'm pissed off if about it. If your game's gonna be ready early, yeah, tell us that and release the game early. Very strange. Don't, that, don't punish us for not having the money or not wanting to spend the money on the game. Yeah, you know. And also, a lot of people were equating this to Starfield in the replies. Yeah, and uh, people were saying. I did buy, like, people were saying that they did buy the Starfield Premium Edition just to play it a couple days early, and the game sucked, so they were even more pissed off that right. they bought the game early. Uh, Benny, the our, our editor here, yeah. said uh, games should go back to the pre-order, uh, where you pre-order the game and you get to play the game a couple days early. Yeah. And I don't like that either, but at least you're not paying more, you know? Yeah. And this shit, he's a lot younger, so him saying that, I'm like, how long ago was yeah. that? <laughs> you know? It couldn't have been that long yeah. ago. I remember, it was John Riccatello who, like, ruined uh, Unity back when he was, like, ruining EA. He, okay. like, he famously said, like, in a speech, remember when the game you bought was the game you bought? Like, that was a bad thing? Like, he was basically advocating for, like, you know... You know, like you, you couldn't update it and fix it later, like, like whatever bugs well, it came with is what it came with. No, he was basically like advocating for like the the Overwatch model, where like the game you bought can just turn into something completely different down oh, the road. No, and that, like we could keep charging you for things that even if you don't want them. I mean, we like updates, yeah, but like, like we don't like too much of it. Yeah, you know? but like that's the thing. Like they abuse the system. Like we we've shown it's okay. Like if we pre-order the game, we can get it early. Now people are gonna pay more money for the game to uh, to play it early mm -hmm. and that's going to incentivize developers it's going to get to a point where it's like you know game 70 dollars. if you buy the deluxe edition for 140 dollars, you can play the game a month early that's all that would be a, a very early <laughs> yeah like it's gonna come to that it's uh I, I mean i also don't like early access that's a thing that's been happening a lot yeah uh, and that is basically you pay full price for the game now and you get to play the game now, but the game doesn't come out for like a year. Yeah. And you're playing like the shitty version of the game and you're basically doing the QA testing for the developer. Yeah. And I mean, that's fine for games that need it because I mean, not every game can uh, so can afford to have, not every game company can afford to have a whole QA you know, yeah. department. Um, but it seems to be a crutch that a lot of people are leaning on. Uh, they, they, they're like... It's going to take a long time for this game to come out. How about we just release it now and yeah. we'll fix it later? And that kind of ruins the launch of games. Yeah. It, it makes it so that you're launching the game in a shitty broken <clears throat> state. Yeah. And then chances of people coming back when it's working are, are very low. Yeah. And like what happens is you have people, you know, like me advocating that, you know, consumers just wait, you know, wait the year buy it on sale, get the game of the year edition that it comes with all the extra stuff that they're trying to sell for a profit. You know, you get the whole, you get the whole game plus add-ons for half the price of when it launched. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no incentive for people to buy games and play games immediately other than to be a part of the conversation. If the game is good enough, it'll still be in conversation a year from now. Mm, I like to... I I like parts of the gaming culture where a new thing comes out on like a day and you play it and everybody's talking about it. Right. I don't like this like trickle out of information. Like people are playing it like two days ago and I got to wait on my hands here because I don't want to pay the extra $20 right. to play well, I mean, it. I guess I like, talk to everybody about it. We're in different situations where like you're more, you know, you're more actively in the gaming, like culture and community but, because of like what you do yeah and whereas, people were saying this on twitter yeah but i was like this before the youtube right. channel i wanted to because i would like watch content related right. to this yeah and i would watch people do their reviews and talk about it and i wanted to basically do my book report i wanted to like yeah play the game and watch the reviews along with it and see what I agreed with and disagreed yeah. with that. I wanted to be part of the conversation even before I had a platform to be part of the right. conversation. But like, you know, nowadays I like have 
a job and a house and a wife yeah. and two feral kids. So like, I can't like, you know, sit down and play like the latest and greatest all the time. I'm okay with wait with waiting a little bit. I am currently playing Dishonor 2, which came out God knows how long ago. I'm enjoying it. It's a great game, but like, Nobody's talking about that game anymore. I mean, I like playing retro games, and Dishonored yeah. 2 is a retro game. I, You're old. No, it's a it's a last-gen game. Because it came out on the Xbox One and PS4. That's last-gen. Don't, don't come for me. Shit. Dishonored 1 Shit, is a retro right. game. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, that's, that's weird, then. You're weird. <laughs> you're either old or you're weird. Um, I yeah, I like my fair share of retro games. Yes, but uh, if a game, if I miss that first week or two of a game being out, I don't want to play it. I'm like out. I'm, I'm like if I'm not part of the conversation. Like I understand, I don't want to play like it. when the when the zeitgeist dies down, like you feel like you're behind. Yeah, everyone. I remember when X Men Legends came out. Like all my friends were playing it, like that weekend, and my girlfriend at the time wouldn't let me play with them. Uh, so when I finally got X-Men around, Legends? Yeah. When I finally got around to playing X-Men Legends, my friends were like, oh, we're done with that game. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to like talk with other people about yeah. how good or bad a game is, yeah. you know, or at least listen to them and know what they're talking I about. I feel like there are like there are certain games like you know that's gonna be the game. Like when Grand Theft Auto comes out, like that's gonna be the yeah. game. Or yeah, like definitely. you know, when a Mario game comes out or a Zelda game comes out or something like that. <laughs> Star Wars Outlaws, I unless it's like really good, I don't think it's gonna be like a, a game where like everybody's gonna be talking Starfield about. Starfield was that game that everyone's talking about. And it was a week until I could play it. Right. You know, and everybody's talking about it. the reviews came out a week before that. So yeah. like everybody there's already all this conversation happening, and I have to wait so long to yeah. be part of the conversation to even understand what these people are talking about. Like, no, like listen, I agree with you that like the the early release model is getting ridiculous and it's punishing consumers. I'm more advocating of consumer awareness where we have to train ourselves to be okay with avoiding the hype cycle and enjoying the games on our terms, not their terms. That's what I'm more advocating for in I, a way. Because I, like you can enjoy a game on your own timetable. You can enjoy right. a game at any time. Yes, being a part of the collective conversation is exciting, but I, you know, at my nine to five, my boss just beat The Last of Us Part Two. That game, you know, that's an old game by this point, but he still enjoyed it, and we're still having a conversation about it because that game, despite what we've said about it has stood the test of time mm -hmm. and like people do enjoy that game and like good games find a way to come back. Yeah, I think that that's a good message for people right now because there's nothing we can do about games releasing early for a premium. Right. So I want games to not release early for a premium. And the best way to get there is for people to not buy the premium price. Like we don't have yes. to live in this world because I need to remind everybody that the game's not releasing early. The game is being delayed so that the people who will pay will get it. Yeah. You know? This happened, like, games used to always come out on a fucking Tuesday. Yeah. And that happened when games started releasing on Friday. And I was like, that's weird. This is a Friday release. Yeah. Oh, oh, it releases three days early if you pre order. Yeah. Oh, something's <laughs> up here. You know, like, it's not like, wake up, sheeple. Like, it's not, it's not releasing early. It, I think, I feel like, fuck you. I feel like, you know, in the PS2 GameCube original Xbox era, that might have been passable. Because those games had to have been done a month before release. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you could do about it. Once, you know, online gaming became more prevalent and patches and whatnot became more prevalent. And you can buy games digitally. Well, they became prevalent. Now they can just work on the game up until release. Yes. Yes. Release. Yes. But now that release is three, three days, days early. early. <laughs> yeah. But at least the game was done. Like, you knew the game was done. Depending on whether or not the store would break street date for you was like a was like a chance you right. could take. Nowadays, it's in the publisher's hands, and like the publishers already have too much power as it is. No, but I understand. But at the developer, 
They got a date written on the whiteboard. Yeah. And we got to have the day one update done by this date. Yeah. Do you think Star Wars Outlaws has August 30th written down or <laughs> August 27th written down? Honestly, they probably have August 30th written down. No. there's a They have August 27th written down. This is when our servers are going to get bogged Dude, with the day one update download. I would not be surprised because it's a Ubisoft game. I would not <laughs> be surprised if, yeah, it releases August 27th for people who like buy the deluxe editions but internally it's still an august 30th game so the game has to be functioning the game has to be by august 27th the, yeah it has to pass certification but games that pass certification are not always in a proper like optimized state right. so the patch could still be the, they could still have three days to get the patch right for you know the unwashed masses i mean game development is uh just just a perfect storm of of falling upwards upstairs yeah. you know like it, it's amazing that it gets done at all yeah but they're really working all the way up until the day the game releases for that day yeah. one update and i'm telling you these guys are have the 27th is the day that thing that everything's got to be spick and span because those people are going to tell the people like me who don't want to pay the money whether or not the game's good yeah